Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. Last electronic episode, which was last Friday, you saw a video of my new iPod Nano. And this is the uh, sixth generation little guy with the touch screen. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this the coolest watch ever. Most of you out there already know that there are a lot of watch bands for these little iPod Nanos, but a lot of them are pretty cheap. A lot of them are just plastic or rubbery and really are not something that you would consider fine um, jewelry <laughs> or, you know, it, it just looks like junk, quite frankly. So if you want something that looks classy, well built, well made, uh, this is what you're looking for. This is the Lunatic. It's the silver version. And if you go to lunatic.com, spelt this way, lunatic.com, you can see all the great products they have. Now, I wanted something that totally enclosed the Nano. They have other versions where it sort of sticks out. And most of the watch bands out there for the Nano that you find in those big box stores just sort of clamp on the outside of the strap and sticks out there. And I would totally wreck them. I wanted something that was totally enclosed and had the crystal sort of, you know, down into it, just like this G-Shock here. So if you were to bang it against something, you wouldn't break the crystal, the glass, or the, in this case, the display. So this is why I gravitated to this guy right here. This has a retail price of $79. If you look really good, you can find it for as low as 60 died. And don't tell me you can find it for 50 because guess what? Those are fakes. There are a lot of fakes out there for these. And they're going for about 50 bucks as the fake ones. And the dead giveaway on the box is there's a big silver sticker right here. So if you see a big silver sticker right here on the box like that, that's the first giveaway. It's a fake. And I'm going to show you some other things as we go on. Time for some unboxing. That was non-dramatic. Could have flipped it open really quick and looked cool, but nope, looked like a dork. This is a SOG. Anyway, go ahead and get this open. And did I get all the tape off? You know, this is always hard. There we go. All right. And this is tick, tick in a box. Step one, take your tick out of the box. Step two, snap your nano on your tick. And step three is show your friends your tick, which is what I'm doing right now, right? You're my friends, I think. I hope. Okay, and there's some direction right here on how to put this together. And they even give you the tools necessary to do that. Because there is some screwing involved my friends all right so here it is we'll go ahead and take this open this up and release it from its package which is all pretty cool by the way designed by Scott Wilson so I gotta do a shout out for that designer right there and here it is Now another giveaway between the real and the fakes is the fakes one, the fakes one, the fake one. This is like really shiny, almost chrome-like where um, this one, the original, or the authentic type has a sort of a bee blasted finish. And the real one, this is also aluminum, bead blast, the fake one, it's plastic. And the fake one, this is sort of a shinier paint as opposed to the CNC aluminum that this is that's bee blasted. So what we have to do is go ahead and take these screws out, separate it, and put our iPod Nano inside. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put these Allen wrenches in each side here and start unscrewing them. You gotta sort of hold one side while you're turning the other 
so you can unscrew the two pieces. Okay, and you can see the little screw there. I'll put this aside where you will not lose it, where your cat will not run away with it somewhere, and then you would be up. Um, poops queek, queek. <laughs> poops creek, I don't want to say it. You got to keep this friendly. Here's our other screw. Put this here. And we can put the tools aside for now. And then you just pull this apart. And we can take the styrofoam fake um, nano out. You know, maybe you could give this to a friend. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing you'll notice is that you can go ahead and actually remove these straps. I don't want to go ahead, I don't want to take them off right now and change them out for other straps if you wanted to the sometime in the future. So you do have the option with this to do that. Now, I'm going to take my nano and I'm going to put this in with the um, 30 pin you know Apple connector on this side. You could put it in you know either way whichever one you wish. I'm putting it this way so the um, headphone jack is sort of pointing up my arm so I could get to my ear without having to go down and back up. So that, that's sort of my thinking here. I'm going to go ahead and wipe everything down really quick because what I don't want to do is get dirt sort of in between the, the metal and scratch it. I've got a, like I said in the past, I'm kind of anal about my electronics. I also have already put a screen protector on this. Alright, so this notch in here will go under the clip. So we'll just go ahead and slide that in there. We'll try to slide this in here. Might have to... Uh... There we go. You gotta sort of push on the clip just a little bit. You can see it, we're half done already. Now we'll get the other side. Put it together. You really gotta get it straight. Why isn't going in? Why isn't it? There we go. It's a nice tight fit, which is good. Now we gotta line up those screws so they go in the hole. Like so. Nope. There we go. Ain't it already looking cool already? And then we'll go ahead and put the screws back in. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this metal piece here. And what this does is it keeps the strap from flopping around once it goes through the buckle here. And we should be able... Oops, I'm pushing it the wrong way. <laughs> so from the back, you got to take it out. And I'm trying to remember which way it's supposed to go. I think i got to go to this way. So I sort of had it around my arm real quick just to sort of measure things out. And then we'll go ahead and pop this on. Did I go the right way? Nope, I went the wrong way. Figures. Alright, so I need to go four in the other direction. One, two, three, four. So I need to go here. Now, come on, you can do it. There we go. Sort of push it up through there. And look at that. And you just sort of see how that tab? Now you can just sort of push that right in there so it doesn't flop around. Now that is freaking cool. So now when you hit the power button, bang, you got the world's coolest watch. <clears throat> now by default, your clock is not the first screen that shows up. You have to change that from the settings. And I'll show you where to do that really quick. In the, um, let me back up to the settings. Then you go to your uh, general. Then you go to time, date time. And then where it says clock face, oh that's where you choose the, I'm sorry, right here where it says time on wake, you could 
change that from off to on. And then um, whenever you turn it on, it should come up to the clock. So what do you think? World's coolest watch or what? Now there is a downside to all of this, and that is that um, it's not going to display the time all the time. It's going to go blank, and you're going to have to hit the power button. If it didn't do this, it would go through the battery really quick, so you can see how it timed out. Now, let's say you want to listen to music. Again, the re you know the reason why I put this part up this way is so I can just sort of pop that in there and now I could listen to my music and also if you notice you can charge this without having to take it out and synchronize it without taking it out which is something that you don't find in a lot of other watch cases the one I returned yesterday didn't have this feature and you have to take it out just to get to this port to synchronize it which really sucks and you could still access your um, volume controls and you could still access your power so you never had to take it out okay I got a pretty cool uh, shirt on so I'll let you read it this is hurting my back because I screwed up my back again so uh, if you can't read it that quick just hit pause and read it so anyway, now some stranger comes up to you and says, Hey, what time it is? What time is it? <laughs> and they ask you, what time is it? Or asking you, you know, Dude, you got the time? You could impress them. Now if you're in New York, if you're in New York City, and somebody asks you, Yo, what time you got? Just keep on walking. Because as soon as you go out there and show the time, you go, Man, that's a really nice watch you got there. Give me it. <laughs> Trust me. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Up Session. Session, I can't talk today. Um, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Up Session channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, and subscriber. I mean it. That's why I say it at the end of every single episode. So, have a good one, and have a good weekend if you're following me video by video. Take care.